I'm Frank Brady. In today's tip of the week, we're going to describe how to classify department tasks by job class or the skill level required to perform them. Previous tips are archived on our website and may be viewed there. We'll begin by listing all job classifications working on each shift. We suggest that you use a spreadsheet program such as Excel in this step. In the leftmost column, list all job classifications working on each shift. The example on your screen is from a nursing unit. An example of a specialized task performant would be if only certain nurses on the unit within the staff registered nurse class can start IVs. Such cases should be identified and listed as a separate class. The next consideration is time constraints. Are there certain times in which each task that you've identified can or must be done? We suggest using three main categories. Some tasks must be done when a patient is present, for example, passing meds. Some tasks must be done within a specified time frame, for example, shift report. Some tasks can be done at any reasonable time, for example, checking the refrigerator. Now we're going to assign those tasks that must be performed when a patient is present to the job classes capable of performing them as we've done in the table to your right. If your department does not have tasks of this type, as it might not if you're not involved in patient care directly, obviously you may skip this step. Now we're going to assign other time critical tasks that don't require a patient's presence. For each task that must be performed within a specified period of time, please place an X beneath each job classifications column capable of performing it at the standard of care. For example, the patient care manager has to complete next week's schedule before next week. Shift report should take place at the end of the day. Today's charges should be entered on the day that they are incurred. And the crash cart should be checked daily. Now we're going to handle all remaining tasks that are not time critical. For each task that can be performed at any time, identify all job classifications capable of performing it at the standard of care and assign each to the appropriate job classifications. Next week, we'll show you how to develop the standard task times needed for a task-based staffing model. This concludes this tip of the week. We hope you found this information to be useful. Thank you for watching and have a great day.